If you are the type that works from home, whether full-time or part-time, or you're just about to start working from home, one of the greatest mistakes you can ever make is choosing the wrong habits from the start. And as the foods you eat is one of the most important determinants of your health status, choosing the wrong food habits is probably the poorest health decision you can make. And yes, I use the word choosing because we all choose our habits, whether consciously or unconsciously. And once a an habit becomes a part of us, we also become that habit. But if you already work from home and you haven't consciously selected good food habits, all is not lost, so long as you don't make the second biggest mistake, which is choosing not to change your poor habits. So what are the healthy food habits that you should have while you work from home? This is what we'll be going through in this video. Welcome once again to Nutritna. We bring you the latest and scientifically accurate news, tips and tricks on how you can attain and maintain good health with the foods you eat. Kindly click subscribe now so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Let's jump right in. First things first, it's always good to know why you should be doing something before learning what to do and how to do it. That way, even when it becomes hard to continue, your why will help you remain steadfast. So let's start with why you should have a healthy food habit. When you eat food, your body derives energy and nutrients that it then uses to keep you active and healthy. To derive the best benefits from foods, you need a well-balanced diet that contains a good proportion of all the important nutrients your body needs. When you have a healthy food habit in place, it becomes easier to decide what to eat, when to eat, how to eat and how much to eat. And these four are the foundation of making the right food decision. Over time, as you continue to make the right decisions, the foods are more able to help promote good mental health, keep you in a better mood regularly, prevent and reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular diseases, cancer and much more. But as you work from home, it's easier to work all day and forget to eat. Or you might have eaten but forgot to drink water. Or even worse still is, you might be so busy today that you decide to eat biscuits all day, hoping that you will get something better tomorrow. But tomorrow comes and you are still too busy to eat good food. This is why you need to create a healthy habit around the foods you eat. Now let's go over a few important healthy food habits and tips on how you can build them. 1. Stay hydrated. When we think of food, only a few of us think of water as part of food. But water is as much of a food as every other edible substance that you put in your mouth. Water is very crucial to your overall health and especially to the health of your digestive system. If you don't take enough water, it becomes even harder to benefit from the foods you eat. Plus, water helps relieve fatigue, regulate body temperature, detoxify the body and keep you full for longer. One easy way to ensure you drink enough water when working from home is to keep a large bottle of water right on your work desk or anywhere it can be easily accessible. This way, you are more likely to drink water at the first sign of dehydration. And try to create time for break so that you will be able to refill the bottle. Other helpful tips to stay hydrated are reduce or avoid soft drinks as they do not really keep you well hydrated and the sugar content of most of these might impact your health negatively. Secondly, drink water after every meal and snack. Also, consume more foods high in water such as cucumber, watermelon, cabbage, celery and much more. The second food habit is eat real food. There's two parts to the statement. One is to eat while the other is to eat real foods. When you're so engrossed in your work, it's easy to forget or even ignore the sign from your stomach that you need to eat. But it becomes more intense when you work from home because now you probably have no one to remind you to go on a break. And that's why you need to train yourself to eat when working from home. But eating just anything wouldn't benefit you well. Rather, you should endeavor to eat real foods. And if you'd like to know what real foods are, we'll drop a link to a video that explains it in the description below. You don't want to eat foods just for the sake of keeping your stomach full. Else, you might end up eating more unhealthy foods that prove dangerous to your health on the long run. Here are some helpful tips to build this habit. One is to plan healthy meals ahead. Two is avoid buying junk foods as you are more likely to eat more of what you have readily available. Three, set time to learn about different healthy foods and how to prepare them. 
stick to our channel for more of this and kindly subscribe if you haven't. 4. Plant healthy snacks that include a few fruits and roasted nuts. To the third healthy habit, eat only when you're hungry. This is a better option to eating around the clock or every 2 to 3 hours as some would advise. This way, you'll be giving your body enough time to process your last food. But as simple as this sounds, there's always the question of how do you know when you are really hungry? Truth is, sometimes when we feel like grabbing something to eat, it's usually a sign that something isn't right in our body. It could be a sign that you are stressed and need some rest from work, or it could also be a sign that you are dehydrated. Although the signs of true hunger are different from person to person, there are ways to predict and test for true hunger, and we'll be delving into the topic soon. So remember to subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we release the video. For now, I'll leave you with two simple tips, which are 1. Set your workplace away from the kitchen. And 2. Whenever you feel like eating something, drink a glass of water and wait for about 15 minutes. If you still feel the hunger or other signs like shakiness, headache and low energy, then it might be a good sign that you need to get some food. The fourth habit is practice mindfulness when eating. One of the main reasons we overeat is that we are usually distracted when eating. We are either focusing on the screen or thinking of the next big agenda on our to-do list. And it's even easier to multitask when you work from home as you might be tempted to continue working during your meal. When you repeatedly follow this same pattern, you expose yourself to the risk of overheating which could in turn lead to conditions such as obesity. Instead, follow these simple tips. 1. Take a break from work and focus on the food you are eating. 2. Pay attention to the tastes of the food you are eating. 3. Take your time to chew before swallowing. And 4. Consider how each bite contributes to the feeling of satiety. It takes between 5 and 20 minutes for your brain to send out signals that you are full. So, as you eat slowly, it will be easier to know exactly when to stop eating and caution yourself from overeating. And there you have it. The 4 healthy food habits to imbibe if you work from home. Let's summarize. 1. Stay hydrated. 2. Eat real foods. 3. Eat only when you are hungry. And 4. Practice mindfulness when eating. As you start to follow this tip, you need to know that it takes time to develop habits. You want to try and maintain consistency, but it's natural to go against this advice once in a while. So when that happens, do not beat yourself up. Instead, focus on getting back on track. And don't be mistaken, having a healthy food habit is not all that there is to being healthy, especially when you work from home. You need an overall healthy lifestyle for that. Just to mention a few, you need to maintain a good fitness, you need to have a healthy sleeping habit, and you need to create a good relaxation habit. So which of the four habits we mentioned do you think will be the easiest and which do you think will be harder for you? Let us know in the comments section below. If you found this video interesting, kindly like and share with others. And be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified every time we drop new videos. Wait, check out some of our other videos here. You'll find them beneficial.